Great to see you! Yeah. All right. Next comic knows who they are, and after Ashley Gavin, we're gonna have. All right, I'm gonna fuck this up. Loki Gadit Gad Gil. That's really good. That's really good. good? Yeah. I'm crushing it, guys. <laughs> and him. And then we're gonna have Atiba Morales. Yeah. But first, very funny Ashley Gavin. Yeah. Yeah. Hello. Everyone's having a great night. That's good. Um, my mom is. My mom's a bag nut. She likes bags. That's what she likes to spend her money on. She went to uh, Louis Vuitton to get her bag repaired recently, and the clerk typed in her name into this database and out spilled like this scroll, and it had a list of every bag she ever bought, uh, where she bought it, the clerk that sold it, the model number, all the repairs. We can't figure out where terrorists are buying guns. We can't figure that out. Put Louis Vuitton on that shit right now. I want to live in a world where Louis Vuitton sells guns. Like, I, I, that seems really fun to me. Like, that just seems so much more fun than the current. Like, you would have knockoffs of guns on Canal Street. Like, someone would be like, hey, is that a Glock? No, it's a Glick. <laughs> I've got like five more of those puns, but I don't think they'll. I think one's enough. Uh, Jones and Watson is another one. All right, so. <laughs> I thought that, I, the thing that I thought was interesting about it was I thought, oh, well, this will make, this will be less violence. They'll be so much more expensive, it'll cause less violence. I was like, no, just changing who's being violent. Like, the Real Housewives of New Jersey, way more interesting if Louis Vuitton made guns. <laughs> way more, you would told, okay, that didn't get enough laughter because I put Real Housewives before Louis Vuitton made guns. If I had reversed them, you would have laughed more. But imagine this, imagine the show, the setup, like the, the women coming out with their like, with their wine being like, at the country club, I'm a lady, but in the street, I'll fuck you up! <laughs> Hands off my rosé, back up! <laughs> Kills with girls. Uh, I guess you don't know anything about that show. They fight all the time, is what I'm trying to say. All right, let's move forward. I I was in upstate New York. Um, I did a show. Uh, has anyone has anyone from upstate or been any native New York? Oh, a lot of people. The way that I try to describe upstate New York to people who don't know anything about it is it's this weird northern part of New York where they have southern accents. <laughs> I'm not joking. This is a real thing. It's very strange. Um, anyway, I've got them. This is not, these aren't, they're corny. All right. Um, I was driving and I, I hit a possum with my car. Uh, I was very distraught. Uh, the, the possum, you know, I really tried very hard not to hit it, but it was like hemming and hawing, you know, and, and, I, and I hit it. And I, and I thought, oh God, I got to go back and make sure that it's dead and not just partially dead, you know what I mean? Because like, I don't want this possum to be living a substandard. Like, I don't know what disability acts have been enabled for possums, like, I don't know. So I drive back to make sure that it's dead, and it's, defi it's definitely dead. And then I drive away again, and I think po possums are known to play possums, so I, I drive back again to check that it's dead. And I called my mom, and I was crying, and I, I just, I was crying, I said, I hit this possum, and she was like, Ashley, like, it, it, it doesn't know any better. It, it's not your fault. It was, you didn't want to do anything dangerous. It was, it's, it, it's dumb, honey. You couldn't have helped it. It's, it's a dumb animal. And I was like, that, I don't want to live in a world where we're, like, defining someone's life value based on how smart they are. Do you know what I mean? Like, this is a dangerous topic, you know? Like, if I had called her and been like, Mom, I hit a person. I hit a person with my car. I hit him. And she was like, oh my god, what happened? I'm like, I don't know. I think he had Down syndrome. Oh, honey, he's dumb. He's dumb. <laughs> he, could, what, he couldn't have helped it. He's dumb. No, that wouldn't hold up in court. I'd go to fucking jail if that were my defense. Is it funnier with Republican yeah. instead of Down syndrome? Yeah. 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 I'm not trying to... I think Down syndrome is funnier because it's, <laughs> it's the nicer person. <laughs> I would be so much more ashamed of hitting someone with Down syndrome with my car than like a dude with a Trump, you know, sign on his own. Anyway, thanks guys. Hey guys.
guys. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, all new stuff. Feeling a little shaky, a little nervous on stage. Um, don't worry, uh, Nobby. You can just follow me and check out my uh, check out either my next set. I'm doing another set later tonight at 8:30. Um, or alternatively, you can go back and replay this one. So uh, now, what I do is I take questions and comments from you guys about comedy. I I, I tour colleges and. Um, I was on TV once, which was pretty cool. Trying to make it happen again. Not too it was not too long ago, and uh, yeah. So now I take questions from you guys, a bit, either about the set or what it's like to be a uh, comedy. Where do I get my inspiration? So honestly, at this point, it's it's pretty. I'm a well-oiled machine. Like anytime I think of anything, but before a really good way to start is to write your uh, write things down that piss you off that make you angry, that make you afraid, that make you sad, like basically anything that gives you a, a deep emotional response, uh, that's what I think is good fodder for humor because there's a really good chance it gives someone else a deep emotional response and that connection is a really important part of comedy. Um, from there, you kind of unpack them and you'll lose the stuff, uh, uh, you'll lose the stuff that's not as important or not as good. How much of your routine... Can you rephrase that question about the routine, how much of my routine, because I didn't really understand it. But yeah, uh, and on the inspiration front, I literally any time I have any kind of emotional response, I just write it down in my notebook immediately. Um, and that can't be the joke by itself. That's not going to work. But um, it will lead to something that works. Oh, how much of my routine do I remember by heart? Uh, that's an interesting question. I've got a pretty good memory. So when I write a joke, I pretty much remember it forever. It, it takes me a long time to not remember it. Sometimes I'll miss a piece of it. I'll go back, I'll say it a few times to myself. The problem is, um, I did do the Down Syndrome one, and uh, actually, Jen, you can watch it, but uh, I, uh, what I have trouble with is just remembering what I want to say, not the actual joke. The actual joke I always remember, but the trigger to remember which jokes I'm doing, that's hard. So, you know, typically, I can remember up to about 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, I start to lose it and I need my notes just to remind me of what I'm going to talk about. But hopefully the more I do, I've been doing an hour at colleges and hopefully the more I do that hour, the better I'll get at remembering everything. Um, I'm getting there. How scary was the first time? The first time I did comedy, I thought I was going to die. My heart was like beating out of my chest. Uh, yeah, I mean, it was really, really scary. I was so nervous. I was shaking. I was visibly shaking. Um, but when you go on stage, you just try and, uh, pretend that you're not. Um, yeah, the possum, that poor fucking possum, and that's a true story. I, I did hit a possum with my car and it was so sad. Love you. Thanks for the insights. I love you too. We don't know each other, but who's to say, who's to judge our love? Who's to judge our love? Um, yeah, and if you guys, all of that was new stuff, so if you thought any of it was funny, please do follow me. Uh, I'd appreciate it. I'll take a couple more if you got them. Hey, thanks. If you guys missed it, follow me, go back and watch it again. If you guys are curious to see what an unpolished brand new joke sounds like compared to a finished perfect done for the rest of time joke you can check out my website which is in my bio or my youtube which is in my bio and just go and watch my complete shit because it's so much funnier than my not complete shit obviously um yeah so please please do and go ahead and subscribe to that and follow me here and i really appreciate the thoughtful questions i don't always get such thoughtful questions and these were really great um Thank you, Jamie. That's a very nice thing to say. Um, all right. I guess I will uh, take off and have a great night, and I will be back on again sometimes between 8.30 and 10.30. So follow me so you can get that notification. All right. Bye, guys.